In this video, I want to talk about fan noise. For about two years, this annoying sound bothered me. This noise coming from the cooling fans of my 5 kW inverter. As you can see here, the sound level is something around 68 decibel. The problem here that this fan always running with maximum speed regardless of the temperature of the inverter. I tried to find a solution for this situation on internet. And I already found some guys who has the same problem. This guy for example, he did remove the old fans and replaced them with silent fans. This modification is totally wrong because it doesn't make sense to remove a 6 watt cooling fan and replace it with a fan with less than 1 watt. It cannot cool down your inverter properly and it could damage your inverter by overheating. The best solution is using a fan speed controller with temperature sensor. It is cheap and easy to use. I bought two different types, however they almost the same. This one has 8-bit microcontroller IC. The wiring is so simple, you just need a 12 volt power supply and a fan, as shown here. This fan here has only two wires, so the third pin not used. By the way, this is not the fan of my inverter, I use it just for this test. I'm using a tachometer to watch in the rotation speed of the fan. As you can see here, when I warm up the sensor by using my fingers, the rotation speed of the fan starts to increase. So this controller working well. However, you can adjust the sensitivity by using this push button. But I leave it on default settings to keep the inverter cool as possible. So now I have to unscrew the front panel of the inverter. Here I have two 6 watt fans. Each controller can handle up to 10 watts, so it's okay. I was planning to remove the fan, clean it up and solder it to the controller. But it's so difficult to remove the back screws, so I decided to leave it there. This fan has four wires, I just cut the red one and the black one. Then I solder them to the input and output of the controller. Use heat shrink tube for isolation. And mounting the controller here by using a glue gun. The temperature sensor must touch in the heatsink. Luckily I found some holes in the heatsink. So I can mount in the sensors using screws. I did the same thing for the second fan. Zip tie the wires and put the front panel back. Now it's time to test. As you can see here, the sound level after modification is something around 61 decibel, which is less than before by 7 decibel. According to decibel formula, the sound decreases by more than two times and I can feel the big difference before and after modification. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.